Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain's episode 6 of Ascendance of a Bookworm, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Freaking finally. Made it. Let's go. My God. Yeah. <clears throat> Makes sense. Here, it's so nice. Oh, here he is. You got this. So cute. <clears throat>
the, the stick, basically. Don't break it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Then what does he need to do? True. I feel bad for him. So you just need a backup plan just in case. Yeah, because she cares for you and she likes you. Be honest about your answer.
Yeah. <laughs> but you'll have it. So we're going to do flash to like next summer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get tools. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Paper. I know, like, you guys are such party poopers, like, dang. forgot about that. Yeah, and where in the world are you going to get nails? <laughs> oh.
so sweet. <laughs> I'll get nails for you. Mm hmm. For his wife. Yes. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, it's freaking huge, pretty. Pretty hair. Something wrong? Yeah, he's fine. Remember, this is something you want to do, and don't worry about what anybody tells you. Hmm, so, you know, Otto, how is that? <laughs>
thought she would have at least gotten the answer. But it is strange. You would end like that. What exactly is the devouring? Is it the plague? Because now it seems like we're going into plague thing. And I don't want my child, my precious girl, to freaking die by the end of this series. Like, no, she's too cute. But, I mean, their dream is slowly but surely becoming real. And it's so sweet. And I'm so proud of both of them. Oh, my God. Like, a proud mommy. I can't. Like, you know, mm. I don't know what else to say. I'm just really proud. I'm happy, too. But, I mean, it seems like, you know, some bad things are coming their way. And, honestly, it's going to be scary. I I really hate that both of their parents are very, um, not really their, well, mine's family and then Luke's parents are very, like, negative about that and saying that they shouldn't really, you know, with mine's family, they were, negative as hell and thinking that you know nothing was gonna work out for her but you know she's like it worked out for me i'm getting an opportunity i just have to make the paper by summer but with lute's family i mean jesus god that's like sometimes you know kids just want to prove to their parents like hey this is my dream this is something i want to do if i have to prove to you that this is a stable career that i can get stuff from it that I'm going to do everything in my power to, to like, prove it to you. And, and so, I mean, that's really what this journey is for these two kids. And, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> everything. Showing too many cute pictures with him. You had last week's picture of them walking together, and then you have this. You're gonna show me something even cuter than these two. This picture and last week's picture next week. Like, oh my god. But okay, so yes, the devouring. It seems like an illness or the plague or something that I'm guessing that other people in the town have also had, and eventually they have all died from it. So I mean. I feel like what's possibly going to happen is she's going to last until maybe the end of the series. I don't know how far, like, the manga or the light novels for the series has gone, so maybe she's still alive, per se, in the light novel or the manga, depending on it. Um, But maybe, like, there could be a cure, but mm, I don't know. I, it just the way it's going, it just seems like, yes, there's nothing but... It's going to get worse every single time. The more they go into this and she's going to get sicker and sicker and sicker to the point where, yes, she's going to, I feel like she's going to die at a very young age. She might not even make it to like seven, let alone maybe 10 or even 15. I, I don't know. And I hate the fact that I'm saying that about her because I truly love her as a character and she's just so adorable and you automatically have to love and protect her because she's just so freaking cute and you want her to accomplish everything that she's, she is capable of but it's just like you know sometimes it doesn't work out that way and sometimes um you're led on a different path so i'm hoping and praying that with episodes um seven to the end of the series something good still continuously comes her way and this devouring eventually just leaves her body and so that she can finally be uh, you know, a healthy and happy girl and live her life to the fullest and be able to do everything that she freaking wishes because I just want the best for her and Luce. I mean, yeah, Luce isn't going to be, you know, a traveling merchant, which is still upsetting, but, you know, he has something else to do with her and he really, truly wants to help her with everything and I just love that about them. They're just so freaking cute and I can't with them. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 6 of The Sentence of a Bookworm. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 7. Bye, guys! <laughs>